big thing for us that we're grateful for is the school districts have buses that bring kids directly from the schools. So during the school you know year when school's in session, that shouldn't you know be an issue getting them here. It's just getting the word out in the community about us as an organization. Um, I think we kind of have a stigma a little bit of being just you know over glorified babysitters when in reality we have a lot of resources available, a lot of things we can offer kids, um, highly trained staff members who are more than happy, you know, that's why we're here, we're here to work with kids. So, um, and our educational programs that we're able to offer with homework help and tutoring and that sort of thing, mentorships, we want to we work with a lot of kids from um, difficult backgrounds and you know, a lot of times we see them grow up and some of them even become our youth of the year later on, which is a great program we run for our teens. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes we also see kids who stop coming, we see the negative side effects of that in you know, the news, we see it reported, you know, so-and-so broke the law, got in trouble, going to jail, you know, that's, that's heartbreaking to see. So, a big problem we run into is on non-school days, um, our population drops way off because for whatever reason, um, parents aren't able to or unwilling to transport their kids here. So when we don't have those buses running, then we don't we don't have as many kids here. So um, one thing we've been looking at as an organization, I know, is addressing our transportation issue. Because right now we only have one small bus that we're able to, you know, pick kids up in. Or we don't even we don't even do that. We don't have stops yet. So that's something we're looking at. Possibly maybe creating some stops in the future where we can go. Kids can meet us there.